Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm going to open half of the P.O. Books meals I have on my desk. Now, if you're watching this and you don't see your meal, don't worry. I know there are a couple more in my P.O. Books. I just haven't had the chance to pick them up yet. So this is the meal that I picked up somewhere in August. I just haven't filmed them yet because, of course, I took a month-long break. And then after my break, I promised myself that I would film the opening of these pretty soon. But in all honesty, my anxiety has been pretty high and I just wanted to wait for a little bit because I want to be in the right headspace to show you these meals. And also, like, if I have a bad day, you will always hear that in my voice. And I worry that if I sound a little bit less enthusiastic, simply because I'm having a bad day, people will think that I don't love their meal. And that is, of course, the last thing I want to happen because I'm super duper spoiled. Um, so it has been quite a while since I did one of these videos. In case you didn't watch any of my other videos, I have been on a month long break from YouTube, from the paper letter blog, generally speaking, um, which has been nice. Uh, sadly, my anxiety is now uh, causing me to still not really craft, but I did manage to send out some meals. Of course, I'm hoping to send out some more, so I will just tell you who I have replied to. I think the last time I did a PO box opening video was, of course, it cannot, cannot have been any time other than July. So after that, I have replied to Amy from England. I have replied to A, no wait, I have replied, I've done a couple of Patreon meals, so I will skip those. But PO Books replies, I have also replied to Hillary from the USA and Jen from the USA. And then other than that, um, I didn't really make a whole lot of mail, so if you're my pen pal or if you're waiting for mail for me, I'm sorry. It's just gonna take a little bit longer, but still managed to meet the quota for P.O. Books mail, so that is good. I have also promised myself that I'm not going to worry as much anymore about like sending out a specific amount of mail because it has to be enjoyable and if it's not, then that is not good. So I have seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have seven pieces of meal here today. Um, I have already opened the majority of them and I'm just going to make two piles, I think. Two piles. Um, two piles. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, I will, I'm sorry if you're in this pile, but I will film these a little bit later. Um, sadly, or uh, not necessarily sadly, but next weekend I'm not actually going to be home. So I don't know when I will be able to film the second part. I also don't know if I will have a video up next week because I'm actually... I am home partially, but I have a lot going on in one weekend. So we have today, I'm going to show you this big box, this big envelope and this big envelope. I have been super duper spoiled. The first one is actually from the Netherlands. After receiving this mail, I immediately wanted to order these stamps. Should I turn on some light? Maybe it's a little bit dark. Mm -hmm. Is that better? I don't know. I immediately ordered this set of stamps, sadly, or also not really sadly, but these are actually, especially these, the outer two, these are actually the prettiest, um, the prettiest envelopes in, or the prettiest envelopes, the prettiest stamps in the bunch, especially, I think this one is my favorite with the little violets. So the rest of the stamp sheet is cool, but these are definitely my favorite. So I feel really grateful that you wanted to share those with me. I'm absolutely going to peel these off and reuse them somehow. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, did I already say that this meal is from Ember? I don't think I did. Um, this meal is from Ember. I have actually corresponded with Ember a couple of times already. Um, even though it's a random number draw, sometimes I draw the same number. Or I draw this, not the same number, sometimes I draw the same person from the pile. So it is still like honest and everything like that, but sometimes you just happen to draw the same person multiple times. I also want to say there was a letter from Jakarta that I'm going to show next time. And in that letter, she actually asked me if I could explain my replying system once more. 
And of course I can. Uh, what I do is I put all of the meals in a folder. I keep all of them for six months to keep it like up to date and fair. And then I let, um, I use like a random number draw to draw a random number. And then I will reply to whichever mail is um, that number. So for example, if for some reason I would only have three mails in the folder and it, I would draw number two, then one, two, I would reply to this mail. But you know, there's a lot more, I think there's about 40 pieces of mail in there right now. So uh, it's not that easy, but I that is how I reply to people. So I don't reply to everyone, but um, I try to reply to as many people as possible, of course, but it's not that simple. I try to really put my time and attention into each meal, so I don't reply to everyone. But okay, back to this meal. First of all, I think these are maybe rub-on stickers. I absolutely love them because they have like a shot. I thought, uh, try again. I thought it was stamped at first, but they have like a slight shimmer to them. So I think it's actually rub-on stickers. Love that. Absolutely beautiful. So this envelope is quite me. Uh, and then inside, oops, we have the letter, which I will just pop back because of course that is for me. And then we have this adorable little mail. It's like a layered pocket type system. It's also vellum. I don't know if this is vellum, but like translucent paper, which I absolutely love. So it says here, please do not feed the fears. And probably it's like a quote, but for me, it sounds like something that is like in a zoo. Please do not feed the bears. But then <laughs> instead of bears, it's fa fears. Inside is some green tea. And oh, this is so sweet. This is a summer flower a summer flower mix. So next year I will probably plant those in my garden. I'm quite excited. Uh, and these adorable little cards. And then the next pocket has beautiful like, water. I think this is watercolor tags. I could actually use them in the craft club challenge of the month because uh, I'm trying to do like 15 minutes of craft each day because I have been haven't been feeling crafty like anxiety will do that to me or I just don't I will have an idea sit down in my room and poof the idea is gone but I've been trying to commit to making like little collages so maybe I could use those for that and then also in here is a little sticker sheet with donkeys and homemade uh, not homemade but um, postcards that she designed herself which I think is so cool so we've got this adorable cactus set isn't that cute I need to send out more postcards I have a hu huge stack of the prettiest ones ah oh, I need to maybe that could be in the next challenge to send out a po postcard each day for a month so there's that. I'm just gonna pop that aside. I will put everything in its own place. Um, so what I'm gonna do now uh, is write the date on here so that I will know when the six months have passed and then it will get its own spot in the to reply folder. Next up, I'm actually gonna go grab the box because I know you're all dying to see what's in here. This is another box from Chris now. I know that you love the boxes from Chris as much as I do because she's way too generous um i she sent me a box before or twice before actually yeah twice before oh my god and i sent her a meal in reply which was just like it was nice but it was not as large as hers and then uh, i get this box as a reply again so i feel absolutely spoiled to bits now as you can see i already took off the cover because i couldn't open the box without taking out the cover but i saved the front so that i could show you once again the amazing stamps i love the cacti ones but the b one is definitely my favorite and i always show the stamps because i know a lot of you appreciate them but that also means that i get a lot of um apologies in letters from people saying i know you love stamps but i'm sorry i didn't include any that is totally fine like use whatever postage you like but this is just i don't know it adds something extra but it's definitely not 
necessary to um, include actual stamps. I know some people prefer the written code and stuff like that, or the printed label. Then this is quite funny. Uh, her mail was actually, I could smell something so nice when I picked up the PO box mail. Like something in the pile was smelling very nice. And that was actually this box because it's, um, the, she used this box uh, for shipping. It's like lavender scented uh, dog poo bags. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Um, so uh, this whole mail smells like lavender. And then um, I, I, I already opened everything, so it's not as nice. But this is actually paper she used to wrap something up. And how beautiful is that? So naturally, I had to save that. She also included a huge pile of uh, tissue paper for me to use, like completely new. So we have this black and white design. Uh, I don't know what it is with tissue paper, but it always automatically feels more luxurious. Like only good things come wrapped in tissue paper <laughs> and a whole, p I'm sorry, it's a little bit bent now. I think I did, um, and that is on me, but how beautiful is that? And then another stack. And then the meal itself is also kind of in incredible. Um, there is a happy meal in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there's this. This is, a this is 10 euros actually, it's 10 euros, right? Yeah, this is 10 euros. I don't know how you got that, but it, it's like origami made from money. It's kind of crazy. Oh, it's like a little, I think it's a fox or it's a cat. Probably it's meant to be a cat, but it could also be a fox because of the color, the redness of the color. That's really funny. I can't believe you used actual money for that, but I think you also did that in your, the Patreon swap we did, but then with dollars. Then, as you can see, once again, wrapped with this beautiful tissue paper, um, is this, or I don't know, something was wrapped in the beautiful tissue paper, but this huge die, like a background die, big flower in the frame. <laughs> uh, so it's like a background die and it has beautiful floral design on it. I can't wait to test that out. Then, this is absolutely incredible. You know how much I love I still can't pronounce it even after all those years. Animal dots, animal dots, animal dots. I don't know. And um, I started using Nuvo drops because they're, these things are expensive. I don't know why, but they're really expensive. And she sent me, oops, she sent me this many. It's absolutely crazy. It's like all of the colors. We have black, white, and gray, which is a new color. I don't actually, oh, I do have white Nuvo drops but not uh, gray and black. And when I use the Nuvo drops, it's definitely not as clear as this. So that will be fun to play with. Then we have this aqua blue, which is my absolute favorite. I'm pretty sure I've had this color once before, but I'm all out because you know, it's a color I use so often. Then we have a baby blue one, which is always good. Yellow, can't go wrong with yellow. We have this beautiful shade of like, Lavender, haha, <laughs> purple. Oh, then the pink one. I like the red, but the two pink shades are definitely my fave. This, I think this might actually be my favorite sheet in the bunch. It's like an apple green one and a minty green, but apple green. We've got shades of brown, which is also new in my stash and perfect for fall crafting. Shades of orange and also, I love this yeah my, the light makes it a little bit look a little bit different but i love this kind of pinkish orangey shade also again perfect for fall and then we have this mixed color set so oh my god i already said chris is way too generous but it doesn't end here because there's this very old book called garden flowers in color Picture psycho cyclopedia of flowers. Let me see if I can find um, a year. Oh yeah, 1947. It's very, very old. Um, it's just filled with these. No, this is not pictures. These are drawings, but these are pictures. And then we have a lot of drawings. I do have to admit, I definitely prefer the drawings over the pictures. So I'm really happy that, <laughs> um, 
it's mainly drawings and it's absolutely incredible. I mean, look at these colors. And the reason why I said I, I prefer drawings over pictures is because nowadays, like the new encyclopedia books will all have pictures. Oh, we have these in our garden actually. Oh, you can't even see. Um, all of the new ones have pictures and that's just, oh, I, I love, I love the hand-drawn look. So, I mean, look at these. That is so much prettier than actual pictures. So, um, I definitely prefer the old ones over the new ones is what I'm trying to say. This is absolutely right. Oh, this is coincidence. I don't know if you're watching this um, back. <laughs> back, because uh, this is the chrysanthemums. And whenever I see chrysanthemums, I have to think of you nowadays. Because of the... Beck actually did a meal inspired by um, the movie, what is it called? Something with holes. I forgot the name of the movie, but okay, chrysanthemums. So that's absolutely wonderful. Um, I am like in love with this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel super duper spoiled. So it's a nice combination of very new and very old. And then, oops, this is the letter. I'm just going to pop your letter aside. Hey, where did this come from? I think this must have fallen out. Um, so Chris and I, hey, this has also fallen out. Where did these come from? Um, Chris and I uh, actually correspond in Spanish now because I was trying to learn Spanish. I have to admit, I haven't been to Spanish class in a couple of weeks because after the holiday we kind of like forgot to schedule a new um, class <laughs> but um, uh, corresponding in Spanish is, is a much more fun way to actually practice than just talking about the weather and stuff like that so thank you so much <laughs> uh, Chris for being my Spanish teacher um, but uh, on top of being my Spanish she's not a, a, on top of being like my Spanish teacher in pen pal mail, she also made me a Spanish pen pal, uh, a Spanish project. I'm gonna turn the light back on. It's two o'clock, but it's dark already. I cannot find the light switch. Oh, there we go. Um, so this is, uh, I don't know the name of the collection or anything, but it's absolutely wonderful. It has, of course, lots of florals because you know i love that but it also has these kind of odd it's not chipboard but it's like acrylic pieces can you see that it's like this one and that one they're like i think they're acrylic i'm just going to call them that so this is the front i absolutely adore this little collage and then over here i'm just going to carefully peel this off this little page is like a festive page with a little flag and it says me encanta, which means I like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and of course a little floral in the bottom. And then it has a goodie pack. I'm just gonna leave it closed for now. First of all, it's um, like a see-through translucent envelope. So I'm for sure going to reuse that. And then I can see it has lots of different die cut shapes in these papers with these papers. So I see some flowers, I see some words, I see a Polaroid flame, frame, I can't speak today. Um, so that is absolutely wonderful. And then the next one, Alegria, another festive frame, another festive page. Oh, that came out super weird. With again, these acrylic pieces. I think what I will do because it's on rings is I will just display it and then display a different page each time. Um, there's something in here. I opened this like a month and a half ago. I don't actually remember what was in here. First of all, envelope, floral, love that. Came out super weird, but you know I'm going to reuse that. Don't know if this is handmade, might be, but it's absolutely adorable. And then, oops, oh, oh yeah, there's different, um, oh, look at this little stamp little stamp, different things in here as well. These say hello, which I absolutely love. I don't know why, but I just love die cuts that say hello. And then she die cut quite possibly my favorite paper in this whole pad into little flags and tags. Look, this is my favorite. Look at those little flowers. 
Whoa, and then there's some uh, pieces of the collection itself. I'm guessing that this is all matching because the colors are the same. Momentos increíbles. So incredible moments and then these yay little labels. Love that. And more little labels. Love that, obviously. Um, I think I'll just pop them over here. So absolutely adore everything in here. Then next page has, I don't want to tear that off. It has wax seals. I will show you a couple. Last time I also received wax seals. I actually have them up on display on my other desk because my other desk has like a little um, shelves. How do you say that? Like a, it has like shelves on top of the desk. It's quite high and they're on there. Enough. They're absolutely wonderful. So I'm just curious to see what she made me this time. Oh, all in a beautiful shade of blue. I think these two are the same design as last time, and I absolutely love them. One of the prettiest waxes I have ever seen. The detailing. And I also love this color. I think you must have mixed colors together because I see some white in there, little flower. A little snail, snail mail, snail. And then this beautiful um, flower as well. Very cool. Then here we have some stamps. And again, the beautiful little envelopes. I'm going to reuse all of them as soon as I um, feel okay with taking them off of the mail. Oh, these are all pretty sure these are all flowers yep oh my god that's incredible i will tell you that i am pretty sure i'm not going to send these to my neighbor because they're so old he probably already has them and flowers just make me super happy so just showing you a couple hmm all of them are really wonderful i can't even pick a favorite Look at that, super cool. So all of these, I think these might have been collectors, a collector set because these three are all stamped off at the exact same angle slash the corners are all stamped off exactly the same. So I think that might have been like a, a first day set or something, which is pretty cool like the set you would order as a collector so that you immediately have the whole set stamped and ready to go. Yeah, I know a lot about collecting stamps these days. Uh, and then, oh, I think this is actually a different paper. I recognize this because I'm pretty sure it's from, I have this paper, I think. It's from Pink Paisley, if I'm not mistaken. And it has these adorable little floral envelopes. And Dias de Felicidad. Isn't that cute? Like I opened, oh, and I, oh, sorry. I don't think I noticed this on the other ones, but all of them have different eyelets. So we have blue, we have white, and then this one has green, apple green. So cute. And then on the back, oh, this one has orange. I love that. So coral color coordinated. On the back we have, oh sorry, it's a little bit difficult to twist this one around. We have this beautiful collage and a little envelope. Maybe that is where the little, yeah, I think this might be where the little items came from. It's all of, the, yeah, it's definitely all of these hand stamped postage goodies. Cute. Cute, cute. I think these came from there as well. So it's like postage um, related stamps, which I mean, is kind of perfect in this hobby. I, I, I love each and every mail I receive, but when um, someone makes me something this big and when every page is different, that just inspires me a lot. Then this one has little stamps and a cutesy floral design. I think I'll put this one up for display first. And then it had a pocket on the side here, which was where the letter was in, but I already took that out. And on the back here, it says, hello. 
and it has a lot of I'm just gonna leave them in there for now because otherwise this video is gonna be seven hours long but a lot of floral stickers I also adore the washi tape you used oh I'm going the wrong way oh yeah <laughs> yay <laughs> there is a washi sample that is actually um, I think this is the same one yep <laughs> I'm very pleased um, so we have uh, two washi tape samples very colorful I love I'm a basic but I love simple designs like simple uh, how do you call that like stripy designs or stuff like that or these that's usually my go-to because they're so easy to combine and then of course you know I love my florals so that one and then this one as well although I have to admit this one is my favorite the tiny one at the bottom and then this adorable this is another collage that I will probably put up for display pretty soon it's a little mailbox how cute is that a little mailbox maybe this is where the oh this oh wait do you think this was in here I don't know I still haven't figured out where this one came from maybe this was part of it let's open it up and see what it holds <laughs> oh it holds a mini letter <gasps> that's so cute <laughs> that is so cute the mini letter Maybe this was part of that. That could definitely be it, but it was loose in the box now. And then we're almost through. We have this adorable collage again with all of the Polaroids and a camera chip. I don't know, I still know, acrylic thing. But last but not least, a shaker. And it's super thick and sturdy. I don't know how, I want to know how you did that. It's like chipboard or it feels almost like wood but it's a shaker and that is how this meal is finished so here I am sitting surrounded by all of my stuff and I have one more meal to show you first of all I am going to once again probably put your wax seals up for display Chris because they're absolutely wonderful I also want to know how you get um, a, a wax seal this matte See that? Like it's not shiny. Mine are always kind of shiny. I wonder how you did that. Maybe it's a special type of wax. So Chris, I already said this and I am going to say it a thousand times again, but thank you so much for your super generous mail. I am literally covered in gifts as um, was I last times you sent me mail. So a big, big thank you. I hope I say that often enough and for everyone who's watching this and thinking, what the heck, this isn't normal for me either. I mean, I will never get used to the fact that I receive gifts in the mail just for fun. <laughs> so it will never get normal, I promise you that. Then the last one I'm going to show you in today's video, because it's already half an hour almost, is this meal from Projecta. Um, once again, Proyecta is a name that you have heard me mention before. It's kind of funny, all of the meals I've shown you today and a lot more of the meals. Wait, let me check. I think only one of the meals I have received is from a new person. All of the other ones are repeat correspondents, which makes me super grateful. I also want to say real quickly that if you write to me and I reply to you, there is absolutely no obligation from me like I don't expect you to write to me again. If it's a one-time thing, that is totally okay you like you shouldn't feel obligated to reply to me again that is not how this works like if you want to write to me I'm super duper grateful um, if I reply to you then don't worry about me expecting anything of you basically is what I'm trying to say this meal is from Prayakta let me just focus on the important thing um, Prayakta is from India which means that the stamps are very original at least these are not in my stash yet. And I have corresponded with her before. Oh, and her mail is absolutely incredible. I think that I remember, like I said, it's been like a month and a half. Oops, that's her letter. I remember that her letter said something along the lines of um, it being, sending you some happy mail. The main purpose of this mail was to send the uh, long, Indian street food theme postcard. Feel free to cut it and use it in your mail. But basically, it's just like a little, um, a little, how do you say that? Uh, a little random act of kindness. 
I'm just going to tear the letter off because it's still on the paper pad because she also sent me these adorable, this is like a, a stack of uh, writing paper, I don't know, probably like 12 or something. Um, again, cacti themed. I feel like I should do a cactus themed meal again in the future. Are you feeling up for that? Because this is absolutely adorable. And I have already showed you like all of the cactus themed goodies I have received today. I feel like that could work. Um, so this is also included and I absolutely love that for a short note. Then this is the meal itself. I have not yet opened this pack because I figured I would leave something a surprise. But the first thing I see is the chai. I do have to admit, Payakta, your pre the previous chai you've sent me is still up on display in my room as well. Payakta sends me these um, <laughs> Look, it's on display. These instant chai mixes that I am dying to try, but uh, believe it or not, the chai is actually not really easy to get here in the Netherlands. It's not really popular, so I'm saving them for a rainy day when I really, really need it the most. So thank you so much for that. Then this is like an adorable... Oh. Oh, I think I missed this last time. I also didn't open that. Okay, <laughs> what I was going to say is that this meal is absolutely packed. It's like a little folder. You could definitely fold it in half, but it's open because it's so full. And there's a lot of goodies in here. We've got this lovely shimmery floral label. We've got these, I think these are stamped. Oh, yay, see-through baggie. I'm not calling it vellum anymore because I recently learned from my friend Emma that vellum is actually animal skin, animal something. And usually when you craft, you don't actually use animal skin. You use like the cheap, cheaper version, which is translucent. So these are beautiful, beautiful, they came out so weird, beautiful um, watercolored florals and then some tags. Oh, I love that. So I can use these for collaging or even as confetti. Adorable. Then, what 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 is next? This beautiful paper clip. I love the florals on this as well. It's like a planner paper clip. I definitely think this will match my planner. I mean, I'm not gonna show you the inside of my planner, but look. That is kind of a perfect combo, isn't it? I love that. The rainbow discs are from Craftelier and I'm super pleased with them. <laughs> In case you wanna know. Um, what is next? Okay, let me just grab this big bundle of goodies. We've got stamped images, special delivery, kisses and squishes. Thinking of you, some more tags. Oh, I'm not in frame, sorry. And then these vintage looking images. Whoa, there are so many. <gasps> oh, that one's nice, a postcard. Cute. I'm gonna pop this aside for now. And then there's more. This is beautiful, the floral one. Oh, my battery is almost empty. Another one. These are gorgeous. I think these are print, hand printed. Is this a sticker? No, I think this is just normal paper, but it feels like a sticker. More little collaging papers. Oh, we've got an intriguing little baggie oh, with much more stuff. But these little mini cards. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Scarlet Lime Planner Society. Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't zoom out too far because you will see <laughs> my messy desk. Um, there's also these adorable summery die gets in there. Whoops. Hello. Little bikini. Adorbs. Little swimsuit, I mean. Little flip flops. Oh, that actually seems to match in color. I wonder if they're all from the same. So we have all of that, but we are not done. No, we have more like collage, really soft 
nice texture papers. I still wonder if they are stickers because the back feels so smooth. Oh, that's for another day to figure out. Look at the adorable prints on these. So cute. So cute. And then this is a postcard or a card as well. <laughs> from a very old planner. And last but not least, she included some of her own stickers. Pet love cats. <laughs> this is me, except it never sits on my head. But other than that, it's definitely me. So cute. So this is me and the cats, obviously. Then we've got the two multiple mystery packages. First up, how neatly is that wrapped with the little sticker? Whoops, 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 oh. oh, that's pretty. It's like handmade paper. I wish you could feel the texture, but it's incredible. Oh, this is a beautiful color as well. So a couple of those, um, I'm guessing I'm gonna use them for address labels or for collages or whatever. And then I think there's more of that paper, oops, on the back. She's definitely sent me handmade paper before, but this is different. It's like speckled. Reminds me of a duck's egg. Cool. So that's very nice. Gonna be nice for like collages. And then, oh, it's actually individual postcards. I love that little sticker. See, everything that's wrapped in tissue paper automatically feels. <gasps> I tore it. No. Automatically feels like various. These are the street foods of, oh, it is one postcard. Huh? Oh, oh my God, that is, <laughs> that is so funny. It's one long postcard. That is cool. So this is the street foods of India postcard. Uh, I wonder if you're like actually supposed to send it because there's just one, there's just one, um, postcard backing on it. So I wonder if you're supposed to send the whole thing in one go. But this is Street Foods of India. Let's just look at them one at a time. Pani Puri. Okay, I probably shouldn't try and pronounce them because I'm going to mess that up. This, oh, I was zoomed in too far. This one, this one. Bread omelette, I can definitely pronounce that. This one, I'm not gonna pronounce that because I will probably mess that up. Complexly constructed culinary wonder. Potato decided to have a spicy lifestyle. <laughs> Oops, uh, masala chai, uh, duh. Ra rain or shine, let's get a hot one. Love that. Ghana juice. Don't even know what Ghana is. And masala butter. Buddha? Buddha. Oh, isn't that nice? So there's this whole... I get now why you said the long postcard. Now it makes sense. It's literally one long postcard. So that is Payaka's meal. And with that, I have reached the end of my pile for today. Like I said, I'm really, really hoping to upload the other video sometime soon, but I just don't know when I'll have the time because I need energy and I need to s properly sit down for this as you can see. Um, first up, of course, Prayakta, Amber, Chris, thank you so much for your wonderful mail. Also, thank you to everyone else who's sending me mail, obviously. I cannot say that enough. Um, thank you to everyone who's watching my videos. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you when I see you. I'm hoping that that will be next week, but I need to stop making promises because I'm stressing myself out. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. I hope this gave you some inspiration as well because I know there was a lot of it. And I will, uh, yeah, hopefully get some crafting done myself as well. Okay, bye!